Max Essen. <lacht> okay. <lacht> Respekt. Ich muss zu den Bus zum muss den Bus zum Dinner nehmen. Also rüber zum Parkplatz. Hi Brooke. Hey Brooke. Oh, hi Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Wir wissen, warum der Schnee da ist. Aber wie sollen wir das erklären? Das glaubt doch, das glaubt, das glaubt doch gar keiner. Das glaubt wirklich gar keiner. Nette Gegend. <lacht> so, dann wollen wir mal. Oh. oh. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> What do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So... What did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Er ist zwar, sagen wir mal, ganz komischer, aber scheint sonst recht harmlos zu sein. Versucht sich in dieser Welt irgendwie einzubinden. Hä? Prescott. Wait. Really? Okay. Max, it's over here. Wow. Fine. What are you doing here? Wow, well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Um, 
Puh, nebenbei mal was Nettes zu haben, ist doch cool. <lacht> äh, was haltet ihr einfach, welche findet ihr eigentlich besser? Das würde ich sowieso mal gerade mal wissen, wo ich das gerade erwähnen. Die alten Planet der Affen oder die neuen verfilmten Planet der Affen? David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Okay. Hallo zum Deiner. <laughs> Fahr doch los! Oh boy, ja, dann darf ich jetzt wieder mal viel da reinquatschen, weil ähm, diese Szene gerne mal äh, einen äh, urheberrechtlichen Hinweis äh, bekommen. Aber gut, ähm, jedenfalls ist ich habe mich, wie gesagt, ein ganz kleines bisschen Frame-Drops technisch äh, ein kleines bisschen ums Spiel informiert. Und ich muss zugeben, ich weiß ein bisschen, was in diesen Episoden leicht jetzt noch vorkommen wird. Wie zum Beispiel auch, dass ich weiß, dass jede Episode äh, einen bestimmten äh, Werktag äh, einfügt. Somit spielen wir äh, die ganzen Sachen mh, fünf Tage lang so wie es mir aussieht und die Aktion mit den Zeitgedöns hat wohl eine riesen Rolle aber das war irgendwie glaube ich schon klar dadurch dass es ja äh, schon äh, Max äh, bekam wie auch immer sie es bekam ich habe mich nicht komplett spoilern lassen das möchte ich gleich davor auf so sagen aber man weiß ja nie, was da noch auf einen zukommt. Wie zum Beispiel Frame Drops, obwohl ich im Hintergrund sonst nichts anderes Affen habe. <lacht> Aber an sich ist das eine schöne Gegend, wo sie da ist. Wobei es immer diesiger wird. Und wir wissen ja leider, was am Freitag kommt. Deswegen ist... Aber interessant, dass bei so einem Sturm äh, Schneefall kommen kann. Das hätte ich nicht gedacht. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Ich hätte bestimmt mit einem älteren Herrn da quatschen können, aber nee. Aber guckt euch, guckt mal an, wie die sich... Das wird... Wie schlechter das immer mit... wird. Das zieht sich richtig zu. Aber die Vögel, die fliegen noch. Als wäre nichts. Und normalerweise sind die Tiere die Ersten, die abhauen bei sowas Schlimmen. Das heißt... Ja gut, wir haben erst Dienstag und... Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware... Makes me... Good Lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Äh, wenn man's braucht. Nun gut, dann müssen wir jetzt mal gucken. Wo haben wir denn Chloe? Da ist Fischer. Hallo, Sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scan. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. No, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. 
But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so... How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling in Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Hm. Mal schauen. Schnappen wir uns einen Tisch. LKW-Fahrer, irgend so ein Typ, Fischer, eine komische Frau, Trevor. Hey Trevor. Hallo Max, by the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin, because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? Not yet. I need to get my coffee on too. And throw in a little green bud and you have the perfect hippie cocktail. You are so not a hippie. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. You come with it's a bit to sitzen. Is on Here. Okay. Ich habe nur kein Geld, aber vielleicht zahlt es ja Chloe. Lutzig. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. Hm. Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. 
Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but... I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. One bacon omelet for the young lady staff. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we have to eat. Nine, 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 nine. Die Speisekarte will ich mir mal gerne mal ansehen. Was bieten sie denn so an? Two Whales Dinner. Hausmannskost. Willkommen bei Two Whales Diner. Dinner, sag ich, genau. Frühstück. Eier und Plaken nach Art des Hauses. Frühstück, Cheeseburger, Äpfel. Okay. Wir haben ein Bacon Omelette bestellt für 6,50. Haben nebenbei noch einen Kaffee. 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 7 Euro, 8 Euro. Na, Kurt. Dann trinken wir mal einen Kaffee. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Incoming! I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl, a woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me.